I was a student here again in the 1990s, early 1990s, and uh, things were, uh, the climate, I will say it seemed like it was better in the 90s for LGBT, but still there was no center or place, a uh, meeting place for people. So right here by this tree on the West Mall, all, usually around the, the lunchtime hour, there'd be this small gathering of just geeks, freaks, and gays. And they would hang out and laugh and cut up and have their lunch and tell stories and table for whatever organization they were tabling with. And, you know, I was, a little, I was an older than average student by then, and I really didn't sort of fall in with the undergraduate crowd. But it was, I loved seeing these students make their own space. To, they built a place where they could hang out, where, where they could identify for who they were and what they believed in, and not be fearful. And so um, I wish there had been some place like that when I was a student here earlier in the 1970s, but the, you know that was just never going to happen. You know there was too much homophobia and fear on campus at that time. You know we, you know, it was just a much different time and place. Um, so now today, now that there's a place like the GSC, I mean the Gender and Sexuality Center is that meeting place. It is the gay tree. It is the place where students gather and hang out and have their lunch and swap stories and check out books and rent movies and look at all the flyers for all the programs and things that are going on. You know, it's it's their it's their place. And uh, you know, I wish I could say that times had changed dramatically, that you didn't need a place like that anymore, but you do. I mean, it's vital to the college experience for these students. And by vital, I mean necessary to life. If, if we lose any of these students, if any of these students leave campus or drop out of college because they had a, you know, a fearful, unsafe experience on this campus around gender and sexuality issues, then we failed. I mean, that's why we need this center. We need this center, we need more education, we need more programs. And like most things in the world, they're budget driven. They, you know, they need every cent they can put together to keep this center open and these programs going. The kids can't support it. The parents can't or won't support it. And so guess what? The tribal elders, those who came before, those of us who did not have a place like the GSC, we need to support it. I need to stroke a check. I've done it. You need to stroke a check. You can do it. It doesn't matter how big or how small. You can support this center so that it's there for not just the students that are here on campus right now, but for the next generation. And, and until we don't need the GSC, and I, even, I don't think there'll ever be a time when we won't need a place like that. I mean, it's, it's always going to be one of those places that's going to be special on campus, as will the gay tree. This isn't the original tree, by the way. It, it died and they planted a new one, so it's the nouveau gay tree. So. Okay.